Okay, the question is, how do you export an MP4? Or how do you export a video? How do you render a video? All you have to do once you're done with your composition here, make sure that you use the letters B, as in boy, or N, as in Nancy, to set the beginning and end of your work area. So, you see these blue lines here? I'm making sure that this is my, my playback range. And when I hit my spacebar, you know, that's my playback range. I am ready to export this. I'm ready to render. So I go to the file menu, export, and add to Adobe Media Encoder queue. So of course you gotta make sure you already have Adobe Media Encoder uh, downloaded and installed from Creative Cloud. Uh, it doesn't even have to be open yet. All you gotta do is go to export, add to Adobe Media Encoder queue, and that application, Adobe Media Encoder, it will launch on its own. It's gonna take a few moments. You can see on my taskbar, it's launching. Sorry about that uh, text editor window. Here, I'll just use that right now then. Might as well. Uh, how to export. And I'm just writing here how to export slash render a movie because that's the that's the proper terminology. All you gotta do is use B and N to set playback range. And then go to the file menu, export, add to media encoder. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. That was all messed up, but uh, there's the notes. Pretty easy. All right, this is what Media Encoder looks like. You're gonna to wanna to check out the upper right-hand corner window and you'll see anything in blue is something that you can click on. Now, H.264 on the left here, that just lets you know the type of compression it's gonna be and that's what everybody uses these days to make an MP4. Um, these are just some more render settings in the middle here, you don't have to worry about that. The third place to click on the right here is your destination and you know of course you want to give it a file name so Here we go. I'm about to click on the third group of blue words here so I can designate the file name and, and the destination. So the way I like to work is on every computer that I own in the documents folder, I always have a subfolder called output. And this is where I put all my renders from any program. I always render out all my videos here uh, and the reason is it's easy for me to, to find again and a lot of times I don't need to keep my renders for that long and if my, I feel my computer is getting really full I'll just go into my output folder and I'll just delete old renders that I know I don't need anymore. So I'll just call this file uh, After Effects Practice Render. Okay. And always good to put a version number, I'll put version number one. And it's ready. Finally, to export the render, look for that green arrow. Encoding, it's rendering. Your computer's doing a lot of work right now to calculate all the animation that you've done and export a movie. 
okay there it's pretty much done it says done so let's go try to find that on my computer documents you know you, you guys might have rendered out to your desktop or somewhere else I'm going to my output folder and after effects practice render you can just preview it here all right looks good okay practice rendering guys 